What's up, beautiful people out there? Welcome back to our awesome, awesome show again. Sky is the, uh, I mean, sky is the limit. We're awesome to be here. We're happy to be here. We're so excited. My name is Rico. I got my beautiful co-host here, Miss Haywood. Say hi, Anita. Hi, everybody. Say hi loud. Hello, everybody. I got our awesome, awesome, awesome brother in the studio today. This is my brother. We go way back. It's an honor to have him here in our presence, and it's an awesome to have him here on our show. My main man, Mr. T.J. Thamar Johnson. How you doing, brother? All right. How you doing today? Ah, right, man. Hey. I'm so awesome to have you here, brother. I am geeked up about this show today. Tell me, what awesome things are you doing here in the community? I know you got a business consulting company going. Right. Yeah, I've been doing um, consulting uh, for businesses since uh, about 10 years now. Oh, 10 years? 10 years. A little, over, little bit over 10 years. Okay. But I've been doing... Um, marketing since uh 97. okay like, the first time i started doing marketing was uh 97. awesome and then that's also miss haywood what great. you don't know people is that mr johnson he also does marketing for us as well he even did our uh website our logo i mean the man is a jack our of all trades yes, yes he got an commercial. awesome commercial he got an awesome commercial. yes he yes, edited yes, it. yes yes, he did. yes, yes. He did. i mean this man is a jack of all trades mr johnson as far as the business consultant uh do you deal with like Large businesses, mid-sized businesses, or really just uh, small businesses. That's okay. where um, my pa my passion lays at uh, with in the community. It's just dealing with uh, mom and pops. Okay. Uh, large uh, advertising agencies don't want to deal with uh, small businesses because the oh, uh, I never knew that. Yeah, they oh. they don't because the percentages is not enough for them to make money. Oh. So an advertising agency typically makes about uh, fifteen percent off of a sale okay. okay so if they work real hard say a mom and pop a thousand dollars is a lot of money to yes, a yes, mom is. and pop yes, business yes, yes, and yes, so they is. work really hard all week long okay mm -hmm. that person will make a hundred fifty dollars oh, wow. so that's really not a lot for an advertising agency okay and so say they got someone like mgm grand and they spend in a million dollars locally whoa okay. that's so wow. that's a hundred fifty thousand yeah that's so okay that's okay. a little bit more worth it for, for them okay. so i like okay. to work with businesses to try to get them to go to the um to the next level what i found out with myself is that um, i'm not really good having a long-term relationships relationship with the company okay. it's just uh, initially starting the company okay on their marketing path yes okay. okay. so then i go to the next one right so you them. like start them off begin them up begin right. them start them up yes those that have small okay. business okay. out there that can't afford those large advertisement dollars right that's right that's okay. right yeah okay okay wow that's awesome that's Make great right, that's Moore. great that awesome. that's great it's a lot of small business out here yes, that won't is. advertisement and they don't have the dollars to do it yes so if they don't have the advertising dollars to do it they can always contact you right <laughs> That's right. They don't have the advertising dollars. I can um, consult the businesses for 90 minutes okay. and okay. get them started with anything they needed to get started with. I mean, after 90 minutes, you know, you can uh, pay me more <laughs> for this conversation to go on. But I feel like after those 90 minutes, you will have the gist of it, you know, to get going in terms of with Google, okay. Facebook advertising, commercials, radio, okay. website. Awesome. Um, these I, I I want to empower people so they can do it on their own. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, um, having a hands on, um, doing everything hands on, that's something I don't want to do. Okay. But if the customer wants to control their own destiny in terms of marketing and how to get that started, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And so you you paying me a nominal fee in terms of getting started, where you know if you're dealing with a whole bunch of different type of people from um, various places, it's going yes. to cost you a lot of money. Okay, yes, a yes, lot, yes, a lot, a yes, lot of money. A lot okay. of money, a lot okay. of money. Okay. So, Mr. Johnson, I mean, so you, you, I know you say small businesses. So, basically, what, like clothing stores, anything, clothing stores? Any or? any, any small business. Okay. Anybody from a, a clothing store hair to salons. a person hair just salons. hair salon or someone okay. just uh, selling something on the street. You know, okay. you need an um, uh, avenue of someone to, uh, a way to someone to get to you yes you know brick and mortar is uh 
fading away. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm starting to see yes, that now. Yeah. Pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. Because, yeah, because mm -hmm. if there's a lot of business who are starting in their home business. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah. I see that happening a lot. So is you also work with them too? Yes, Those because it's a, it's a lot of ways to get your products out there, not just in the brick and mortar. So you can house your products, say, at UPS, and okay. it has mm -hmm. UPC codes on it. And when someone orders it, you don't have to ship it if your product is already at a UPS or Amazon. As mm -hmm. soon as someone orders it, it's automatically shipped to them. So you don't deal with that hassle. Oh, and so it's a lot that, of different ways to, um, to make money. Okay. Um, is, is that what they call Mr. Johnson, like a drop ship or something? Or mm -hmm. yep. uh, well, like when you go and order on like Amazon or, uh, or someone orders something from you and your product is already housed at, U at UPS, okay. then um, as soon as they order it, if the product is already there, it's going to get shipped from their warehouse. Oh, so it's, okay. you know, just different ways to uh, okay. go okay. about um, okay. doing business. And, and the thing about it, when I was <laughs> when I was doing commercials, I, I worked with over a thousand businesses. Yes, he did. Yes. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Audience. Yes, he did. You know, I, I used to think, oh, don't put your your website on a commercial. It's just another thing for people to look at. Just put your phone number on there. Mm. But now, like, you know, the, the, the business has changed. The, yes. the way business is done, the way marketing and advertising is, is done has changed so fast. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that's, it's, uh, you got to be really uh, cognizant of that. Yes, you do, yes. Mm -hmm. You said, Miss Haywood, you used to have your own little business back when you were the youngin. Well, back when I was real young, I used to do handcrafts and and hand crocheting and sewing and mm. doing those kind of things but we i didn't know i didn't have the advertisement to do it so we what didn't you know doing? doing socks and drawers we or what's going on here? <laughs> no we were doing <laughs> what's going uh on? hats scarves uh shawls dresses mm. but that was back in the day and because we didn't have the proper advertisement it didn't really yeah. take off the ground because we were just going door to door yeah, yeah. and just doing within what we knew to do but Mr. Johnson, this is where you taking them to to a whole new whole another level, level y'all. Yes. Oh I yeah, mean, a whole another level. Definitely, um, every, you, you, a lot of people spend so much money on their products. Yes, and yes. Um, the buildings and the they don't, they forget about advertising, and like shows like this that. Um, and on a station like this that okay. has such a great reach yes. around Metro Detroit, yes. um, it's not a lot of people should utilize this type of uh, platform yes, yes. For, the, for the marketing because mm -hmm. chances are if you're watching this show right now, other people are watching. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes so yes. this is a great way to um, put it out there, yes. you know, at a, at, a, at a low rate and so are other avenues like online, social media, and, and different, um, you know, marketing way. Okay, okay. So say, Mr. Uh, Johnson, I come to you. Mm -hmm. I say, hey man, I ain't got much money. I want to start this clothing store, mm -hmm. but I want to meet with you. Mm -hmm. But you know, my my, my my pockets is kind of funny right now. Uh -huh. They're like rabbit ears. So, <laughs> what can I do to get started? But my money is funny. Well, um, well, it would. Well, I, I charge fifty dollars okay. for the ninety minutes. Okay. To talk. So once you get the fifty dollars, okay, then okay, we can, then we can talk. Okay, I know that's okay, right. Okay. And then I give you the fifty, uh -huh. and um, so I, I, I would, I would, I would advise you to have at least another fifty dollars on you, and I can really do something with that, honestly. Like so, okay. for a hundred bucks, see, um, mm -hmm. I can really um, start a presence. Online. Oh, okay. And, okay. Uh, yes, yes, you know, yes. It looked like, like you paid thousands. Mm -hmm. then. Right, yeah. See, well, I'll, I'll really. show you how to do it. Okay. Yeah. And it looked like okay. you paid money for yes, it. Yes, yes. So. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So, my co host here, come on, she's doing socks and drawers. I mean, no, that was back. <laughs> I said socks I mean, and drawers. But, I said <laughs> socks and I said okay. dresses. But, that was back in the day. It was handcraft, crochet, knitting, and, and so, I, you know, that's what it was like homemade clothing and stuff mm -hmm. made out of yarn and but it, but even what she's doing you can blow that up though you can really like boom get it out oh yeah TV. yeah definitely you know that's uh one of those because i always uh think uh in terms of numbers and time okay. mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that okay you know how much money do you want to make you know actually right. how much money do you want right. to make? okay right. how long does it take you to make that product okay and how many uh -huh. do you want to sell in oh, order wow. to get to that okay. number oh wow you know and so you have to quantify your time, how much the product costs, okay. and then you can um, really understand how much money you need to spend on marketing to, to make it back. Okay. I'll give you an example. Some people say, say you was making a $50 profit okay. off of what you were doing. Okay. Some people would try to spend $10 for, 
and make a bunch of money. No, you know? that way. I know. You can't, you can't, yes, you can't do. do it like that. No, you got to have a mindset like, well, let me try to spend $20 per client, $25 per client to get $25 off of it. Right. You know what I mean? So whatever you put in, you want to make sure you not only get what you put in, but above what you put in, right? Right. You well. College degrees are coming out again. <laughs> look at you. You over here like a. Shut up, look but, at but, you. I'm just trying to, you know, because our audience want to know. Like they're about to do a business. They, the they, they, they're. Uh, we got people watching who got small businesses yes, and they, they don't true. have a lot of money and they want yes. to put in. You know, don't have a lot of money to initially invest, but they want to gain a fast profit or gain money. So I know in order to gain money, you not only have to put in what you, uh, 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 uh your initial investment, but you also got to put in what you want to make. Am I, am I, am I correct? Right. Yes. You have to, um, you, you, you do, you have to have enough money. You have to, in business, a lot of people don't make enough sacrifices. Yes. Okay. It's people who say, I want to start a business, but I got a car note. Right. Okay. People who want to get, start a business, but they got credit card debt. Right. Okay. Okay. Or a big house. Right. Okay. You can't do so that. So in life, biblically. Okay. Like in okay. all mm -hmm. religions talk mm -hmm. about making sacrifices. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you refuse to make your sacrifice, you're not going to be successful in, in business. No, you're not. To have a grand... Um, TV station like this, mm -hmm. you have uh, whoever owns this station have to make a tremendous sacrifice. Yes, right. a, tre a tremendous right. sacrifice. Right. If people are unwilling to give up the luxuries that they have yes. to stay on the job that they got, go ahead. They will not succeed and go to the next level. Right. Oh. If they are, if they're not willing to fail, right. like take that risk yeah, and you jump out there they won't step you know, out on faith we that's talking what you got to do oh and uh, I, I heard you talking about um, this educated sister here <laughs> yes educated go ahead but, uh, Miss Hayward do, do you have a master's degree Rico yes yes what do you have a master's degree in people don't business know marketing yes this man is a educated <laughs> man <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. They don't know that. They just yeah. see him and think, oh, my God, that's just, he Rico, but he does have a lot of education, y'all. He got oh. a master's degree and two degrees, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't want to brag. <laughs> humble man, y'all. Always remember that. Very yeah, humble. It's a, it's a lot of knowledge at this table. Yes. yes. And so, uh, I thank but, God, though. I mm -hmm. really thank God. But I believe that sacrifice is the key to success. Yes, it, yes. yes it you know, clothes are Clothes is clothes, and the car is car, and they all go to A to B, <laughs> yes, they do. no matter how, how they look, you yes. know, but it, I think the key is not stacking shoes and cars, but stacking money. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's right. the motto of this show. The sky is the limit, y'all. That's right. That's if right. you can dream it, you can achieve it. So that's right. invest in your dream. So, Mr. Johnson, mm -hmm. so that's why I see so many businesses around, the, you know, the metro area, mm -hmm. even, you know, outside the metro area. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of businesses. One minute they open, you come back months later. They're closed. I'm like, whoa, what happened? I thought this guy was doing pretty good or she was doing pretty good here. Well, you, you, uh, well, the thing about business, I mean, it's a, to me, there's a lot of reasons why business fell in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like, no business should fell in Detroit, especially a black business. Yeah. Um, but so many people, uh, I don't want to say. I know. I don't want to say. Know, yeah. I know. A lot of people, uh, Sell out their own community. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But uh, but said, a, but a lot sell of us uh, out, yo. but a lot of people uh, also uh, in business don't open up on time. Say if you have a restaurant and a person is coming at lunch break, okay, at eleven thirty a.m. You're not open. Mm -hmm. That's the last time you're gonna get that customer. That's right, true because right. they don't want to waste their time. Exactly. You customer, find a lot customer of people, service is very important. I find a lot of people fail in their business because they just don't have a clear business plan or a clear vision for the future it's all like right now oh. and they don't i mean you know i gotta get money now i'm gonna open now they're just opening uh with no kind of plan or future all the thing they see is like i'm gonna open up a restaurant that's all i'm gonna do is open a restaurant <laughs> but they don't they don't take time out to see the budget what it's gonna cost what they're gonna what they're gonna have to invest in it and maybe that's why they fail do you think that's that's the cause why they fail of course it is yes yeah, they yeah. you know uh failing to prepare is preparing to fail yes yes and I so like just, as, yes. Yes. Not, just as simple like as that. That. that if you fail to prepare your preparing to fail Go ahead. so you're just you know if, if you don't understand what's happening um 
and, and, and knowing how to uh, sustain your business and okay. the, the things about your business. Okay. So that's where someone like you, as far as being a business consultant, come in, right? You would. Well, I, I would encourage the people on that point. You know, <laughs> okay. I think uh, you have to have an inner drive on yourself and yes. have a um, a willingness to uh, learn on your own accord um, in order to be successful. It's only so much um, a person can tell you mm -hmm. if you don't have that drive of your own and, and want to um, um, learn for okay. yourself, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, you're not mm -hmm. going to do real well. Right. You know That's true. So. Yes, right. yes. Right. And be willing to take advice. you got to know you don't know everything. So yeah, there's always somebody out there, you That's, know. That's right. Yep. right. you got to learn how to humble yourself and listen. A lot of people don't realize that until it's too late. Yes. That's yes. right. So you're a business consultant. So do pe can people c contact you directly? Or is it you have a, how do they contact you if they want to get in they touch with you? They can contact me if they want directly. Okay. okay. And what's that magic number, Mr. Johnson? 888 <laughs> 492 1555. Ah, say it again, Mr. Johnson. 888 492 1555. Awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. You got an email address? Um, yes, uh, I have an email address uh, info, info at thamarjohnson.com, T H A M A R Johnson, T H A M A R Johnson dot com. Okay. You know, uh, before we leave, I would just like to encourage people to support um the business in their community yeah um yeah. I would that's like very to, important yeah but that's uh, very su important support um local yes 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 support yes. um independent people yes um because at, at the end of the day you can go and shop in other people community but they won't shop in your community yeah. so just think about yes. that yes. I met people yes. like yes. that yeah. so just think about that you, you would go dollars, but you would go, you would go downtown and all these other places but the people down there will not come into your neighborhood yeah. and support That's you. No, they That's period. So but you will support them like you own a piece of it, but yeah. you don't. That's, right. That's true. You don't own none of it. That's right. Bring your dollars at home, guys. What <laughs> you say? Dollars at home? Spend the dollars at home. Spend the dollars at home. Spend the dollars at home. Spend the dollars at home, and then it'll come back to you. Spend. My mom always said, take care of home first. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. before you start trying to branch out. And a lot of times in our communities, we don't we don't spend our dollars where it's supposed to be. And that's sad. Spend, and it's so sad. And we're watching a lot of businesses fail. Mm -hmm. And that's just really sad. Um <clears throat> Anything else? Um, oh, yeah. Guys, Mr. Johnson <laughs> does awesome work with the commercials, with the business consultant. The guy is really, business really cars, talented. The business I mean, cards. I can go on and on. It's going to probably take me an hour. Yes, yes. Then some. Yes. He the makes amazing work. work this man has done. How many commercials have you done all together in your, since you've been out here, Mr. Johnson? Over Lots. Well over a thousand. Good. Over no, a thousand wow. people. Well Did you hear that? Over a thousand. Mm, wow. But, you know, that's... Um, you know, that's that's the I don't I don't personally do them anymore, but I know a guy okay. that I recommend. Okay. Who okay. Uh, is a award winning um, mm. okay. um, photographer? Awesome. Okay. okay. Many many awards. Many so awards. Mainly, you just the consulting part of it, right? I'm just a consulting. I'm gonna lead you in the right direction. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Because okay. uh, you know, I'm working on my passion right now. Yeah. Life. Yes. And, uh, yes. Yes. Which yes. is uh, engineering. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Hey. That's, Go ahead. That's baby. what I'm gonna do uh, for the for the rest of my days. It's, okay. It's working on um, radio frequency engineering. So wow. That, that's about it. Okay. So. So. Wow. It's like I really know what that is. <laughs> I gotta ask you. I don't mean put you on the spot. What, so what I, is that? Yeah. What, what is that? Well, I just wanna. Uh, well, uh, first, I, well, I wanna work on satellite communications. Okay. You know, okay. Um, okay. from the like this TV station has to yeah, communicate. Yes. 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 Well, the stations okay to satellites in space and okay things like that wow that's on, deep uh, i would like to own a, a about a few towers before i go on a glory ah! like if you uh, you know those satellite towers you see you yeah, drive yeah, by yeah, yeah, yeah i like yeah, i like yeah. to own a few of those oh, wow. wait a minute those are independently owned yeah mm -hmm, so, i never knew yeah. that. i thought it was corporate, corporate well yeah, well different you think. Okay. like so people rent you know, okay. They oh, rent. Okay. They want their satellites on them. Okay. okay. So like from wow. Comcast to Verizon Direct to Sprint TV. to okay. whoever, wow. they they want their um, stuff on there. So okay, I'll be I'll be working. So that's that. what you're gonna be doing. Huh? That's what I'm gonna be doing. So like, you might be the next Comcast owner or something well, like I, that. Well, I, I would like them to rent stuff. From me. <laughs> okay. So, okay. 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 I don't, okay. I don't want to own TV stations. You don't want to own TV, TV stations. Okay. Okay. I do want to have the the equipment that didn't come rent. That's okay. right. Okay. That's awesome. Right. Awesome. Ain't that That's awesome? Great. That's what? great. Wake That's up great. over here. I okay. am not asleep. <laughs> <laughs>
But hey, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Awesome Johnson is awesome, awesome and awesome, awesome man who with great, great, great talent. But you guys are awesome, and I hear I was I was looking at the books before I, I got here. <laughs> uh, your your ratings is pretty high. Whoa! So Whoa. I was, I'm like, man, this many people is watching y'all. What? That yes. is awesome. Y'all watching us? Well, yeah, yeah. Y'all watching us? So yeah, well, I, I would God think. God is you, good. Like as a, as a you know, God I, I, is so good. I, I, I would think anybody would want to uh, advertise on this show, honestly, personally, right, because right. Uh, Whoa. you know. That means a lot. Cause, that means a lot. That, that is awesome. Right. That, that really, really means really, a lot. Really Thank awesome. you guys out there for yes. for, for uh, supporting us and watching us on on, yes. your tele- on uh, this station. We really do appreciate because that. Because we stepped out on faith. I mean, nervous, scared, didn't know what to do, how to do it. We called this, this gentleman right here. Next thing I know, boom, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> yep. Here we, we are. You right here, right in front of your face. Yes. And yep. it's an awesome thing. Mm-hmm. We owe this man a lot. We've been knowing Mr. Johnson for years, but... When we needed him, he was always there. He never turned his back on us, never made fun of us. He would always believed in what, you know, he always believed in our dreams and always said, hey, if you can dream it, you can achieve it, you know. Right. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Y'all see my number down at the bottom screen, 586-625-7338. You contact me. You can be sitting right here where this handsome brother right here is. You come on this show and let the world, the, the audience know out there that, hey, I got a service or a product or business that I want to let you guys know about. And the next thing you know, you have people flying through your door or either bringing your phone off the hook. Yes. Yeah, come and join us. You see, the, you heard the radius. It's uh, very high. People are watching us. So come and advertise your businesses uh, on the show and get exposure. Yes. Again, you see the number at the bottom, 586-625-7338. Mr. Johnson, before you go, is any, like, Things you want to tell these beautiful people out here in TV land? Because I'm geeked to have you up here, man. I'm geeked. I was going to act more silly than this, but I'm trying to keep my composure up here. But no, anything uh, else you want to let them know that you do on a, you know, far as besides the uh, business consulting? And no, that, I mean, that's, that's basically it. Just, uh, just working on my own uh, personal stuff that I'm not yes. ready to just put out there yet. Oh, exactly. Exactly. But, um, exactly. But just, you know, I, I, would, I would love to um, consult. Okay. Take time to talk to people. Because believe it or not, audience, he consult me and my sister. Yes, here about, yes, he you did. know that's how we able to do what we've been doing lately. You know, it, uh, we he's our consultant. You know, mm-hmm. and well, I, I said it would be wonderful to come and get Mr. Johnson on here and let everybody know how talented this brother is. You know, yeah. I and, mean, and for one more thing, if they want to contact you, Mr. Johnson, again, mm-hmm. let give them the, give me your phone number, your email. Well, you know what? Um, actually, um. Uh, just call the number on the screen. Yeah, okay. And, okay, you yeah, know, yeah, because you contact me. You're going to contact There's no way in the world. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be able to contact Mr. Johnson. That's right, yeah. So just you call, contact that just number, 586 625 7338. I hate to end this show. God, it went so quick. But yes, yeah, it, it did. It's, it's been a great um, ride for me. I, I work with everybody from John Cash, yes. State Farm, the Lower Lower Job, the that? Elections yeah. Department. I mean, just a lot of people, you know, done. I think I've done well over. A hundred commercials for this station alone. Hmm. See, so back then, back in the day. So. Go ahead. Okay. Right. Well, my beautiful, beautiful people out there, we hate to end the show, like I said, but always remember, um, you give us a call, you can be on the show, and the good thing about it is, when you be on this show, we just talk about things that you know it's all about you. We don't trick you up and you know say things that you can't answer right away. It's your business, so we just want to make sure that. Uh, when you come on this show, you ain't got to be nervous. You just letting everybody know, hey, I got a gift and I want the world to know. Ain't that right? Right. It's just an open platform for you to come out, tell people what you're doing, and talk about what your business and your product or your service you want to get out there. We have fun on this show and come and Yeah, join we us. do. And you can be sitting see, right here. See, Johnson going to come on this show. I was going to jump on this table and act <laughs> well, yeah. a clown. But yeah, a, lot, a lot of times. Trying I, to keep I my just, composure. A lot of times I would like to make a political statement. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but I know that's, not, that's not the time. Yeah, not the time. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, a political statement. Oh, yeah, I, I was, you. you know, because um, it's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah we and, are. Um, yeah, you yeah. see you know, in the world. I, yeah. I think about the kids out there, and yeah. um, I know I'm getting yeah. on track, but I think about the kids, the school system. Okay. And uh, before I leave, just one political statement. <laughs> one you don't get me killed up here, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus um, Christ. I don't I don't you know I don't understand um you have a mayor in a city that's that 
that you don't hear his voice about the kids in the city of Detroit. And the sad thing is so many people is going to vote for him, but he's not on the streets marching, protesting for our children. But people are going to vote for him because people have businesses downtown that has nothing to do with our community. Mm-hmm. They're wow. taking the tax the taxes that people have paid in this community for 40, 50 years and giving it to the people downtown. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Just wanted to say that. Whoa. But like we say, beautiful people out there. So you can come on, express your opinion, and say what you need to say. And You see Mr. Johnson Mr. Johnson expressed his. And and, and have a good time with us. And like I said, call that number, 586-625-7338. Y'all ready? You ready? Yeah. Always Always remember, remember, the sky is the limit. limit. See you next time. Bye-bye.